Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me a Chura, and this 2018 movie was directed by Talal Salhami and stars Omar Lofty, Sophia Manusha, among others. The story of this one is about this group of kids who go into this, I guess, haunted house, and after an encounter with a monster, one of them disappears. Then, 20 years later, their friend reappears, and they have to figure out what happened to him for 20 years. What will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. Alright, so let's discuss what works with this movie. Well, I think the story is compelling enough to, you know, go through the whole thing and enjoy it. It is this kind of like it quality to it where it has kind of the adult characters and then their like children counterparts. It kind of interwoven between the two storylines. So it's interesting to see, you know, what happened in the past and how it's rediscovered in the present. And they even have this character with like this torture device where he like can't close his mouth. And I thought that was interesting, a little morbid, but interesting. And so there's lots here that you can, you know, really follow along and enjoy. In addition, I thought all the acting was good. I know it's all in French, so I'm not, you know, the best French speaker, but I can still tell that they're doing a good job. Even the child actors are doing a good job. So everyone's really putting their heart and soul into it, so that's good. The CGI is also good. The monster is well rendered and everything. The first few times I saw the CGI, I thought it was a little bit corny, but in general, yeah, it was pretty good. So definitely a lot of good aspects in this movie. And that brings me to what I think didn't work about this story. Well, I think their style of storytelling with like the present and the past kind of deflated any tension or thrills because, you know, I know who's in the present, I know who gets taken in the past because of that. So it kind of takes away all suspense. Also, I think with the story, there's some kind of like story errors. Like I think in one scene, like someone gets killed and then in the next scene, they are not killed. And I'm just like, What's going on? Like, did I just see that? I think with most people, probably just blow past them and they wouldn't really think about it the way it's kind of cut and edited. Um, but yeah, so it's just some kind of story sloppiness that way. Also with the shooting, some shots don't really work or scenes don't really work for me. Like there's this one segment where it's like 10 minutes on this woman's face while someone is telling her a story. So you're watching her listen to a story for 10 minutes. And I'm like, what am I supposed to be looking at? Am I supposed to be looking at her eyes or like reading the, the subtitles so that I didn't really know what's going on? And I just was very distracting that way. Like I was, I was kind of drifting off at that point. Um, and that's early on as well. So it's just that scene, I, I really don't understand it. And the, the result of the scene is kind of pointless as well. Um, I don't want to really get into it. I just, you know, we don't really do spoilers on this channel. So just know there are some things like that that really do kind of deflate the story. In addition, you know, the monster, it looks good, but then it does nothing. It just kind of stands there while people, you know, figure a solution out. And so it's not really scary. And so it's just, you know, another thing that deflates the movie. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're into foreign horror films, then yeah, you can check this one out. It's all in French and is supposed to take place in Morocco, so that's pretty cool. As for a rating, I'm going to give it a 3.4. That's the score for Double Meh. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.